Bootstrap CSS is quite popular, but is using the CSS framework in Magento 2 considered a best practice? Short answer to this question, in my opinion. No, it is not a best practice so you should try to avoid using it. And in this video I will try to explain why. To explain why using Bootstrap in your Magento project is not considered a best practice, let's first understand why Bootstrap CSS is so popular and why so many developers want to use it. 1. Using Bootstrap CSS saves time. When using Bootstrap CSS, you don't have to start everything from scratch, Bootstrap comes with a set of UI elements which you can use. You don't have to worry much about CSS, you just write the HTML and use the correct CSS classes of Bootstrap. 2. It's easy to extend. Even if your design is different from the elements of the Bootstrap you can easily extend and transform them to your needs so the landing page looks like the design provided. 3. Descriptive classes in a well-documented framework. If you want to build something but don't know if there are Bootstrap classes for that element, it's easy to find the information you want online and also the solution is easy to understand, since Bootstrap uses descriptive CSS classes. 4. Using Bootstrap CSS classes can establish consistency. If you have to maintain a website which is built using Bootstrap, it's going to be easy for you to add, remove, or change sections in the site. For those sections you will also be using the classes of the framework, so the code will be consistent. With so many arguments pro Bootstrap, why do I still think that using Bootstrap CSS in your Magento 2 project is not a good idea? To answer this question, let's first explain what it would take to convert the default themes of Magento Monolith to fully compatible Bootstrap themes. First you would have to overwrite a lot of .phtml templates of the core modules. Let's take for example the button component. Buttons are everywhere in our Magento installation. The classes at the moment for the buttons are action and primary. Bootstrap uses a different CSS class for this component, btn class. To convert the default buttons from what we now have to Bootstrap classes, would take a lot of time since you would have to overwrite every PHTML file where action in primary is present. And this is only for buttons, keep in mind that there are a lot of UI elements which you need to convert. Let's say you are determined and have time to do that. You make your new theme fully compatible with Bootstrap, where each UI element is created using the Bootstrap classes. Your job is not yet done, most likely you will have a design which has UI elements different from the Bootstrap ones. So you now have to extend the Bootstrap CSS classes in order for the website to be the same as the design provided. This means more development time. Let's say development time is not an issue and you proceed to do that. Now your project is finished. You have overridden many .phtml files to add the Bootstrap class to each element on the storefront. And you have also extended those Bootstrap classes so the final website matches the design. What you have done works, however this has affected upgradeability big time. The reason why, is that you have overridden so many things from the core of Magento. Keep in mind that the more things you override, the higher the chances are for things to break in the next version upgrade. So if you want your Bootstrap theme to work in the latest version of the Magento core, you have to go through each file of your theme, compare it to the core version and make the necessary changes. And the final point I want to discuss is the code consistency. To help your development cost, you decide to buy a third-party module. This module is a simple pop-up which has an image, some text and a button. There is a high chance that the button element won't have the BTN class of Bootstrap but the action in primary of Magento. So now you also have to override this module. The code of the Bootstrap theme will not be consistent with the code of the community, since Magento considers a best practice to always style a theme using its existing components. For a Magento project, this is a recipe for disaster. So how can you avoid this? How can you speed up your development time, avoid unnecessary overrides and make the code consistent? You use the Magento UI library. This is a set of pre-built UI elements that you can use. It's easy to extend them and since it is a core library most likely the third-party modules will be also using this. So if you extend the design of the elements inside your theme, the redesign will also be reflected in the modules you install. So for UI elements, use the Magento UI library and not Bootstrap. As we progress more in this video series, I will also explain how to extend these UI elements. 
Keep in mind that using Bootstrap is not a good idea only for Magento Monolith due to the reasons I mentioned. If you decide to go with headless Magento in your project, in that case you can use whatever you want. There is however something that the base themes of Magento doesn't have. And that's a grid system. I always include the grid system of Bootstrap CSS in my Magento themes since it is something that the core doesn't have. I download the compiled version of Bootstrap 4. I copy the content of the Bootstrap Grid CSS file. And I paste it inside the new file Bootstrap Grid.less. I make sure to import this file inside Extend.less, and I use Media Common True so the content of this file goes to StylesM.CSS. Bootstrap Grid will be useful when we work with the header of Luma theme, and also with some layouts in e-commerce pages. This is it for this video. Thanks for watching.